Hello and welcome back to the Weird and Proud Podcast. James. Oh my god. Oh, that was early. It's Sam and James. 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 That was early. You know better than that. That was early. You're gonna get. You're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. Hi guys. Hope you are doing well. Hope you're having a great week. Um, we have a really good show for you guys today. We have some fun things. What? I'm so excited. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a wild one. We um we had a friend, Alex, shout out to Alex, who um was saying that it would be funny because you know, obviously James is not a social media person. He do you even have TikTok on your phone? Yes, so I can see some of your TikToks. Okay, that okay, is okay. literally all I use it but for. Ja- but I don't watch. But James, he knows nothing about like anything pop culture. Like he literally is like a baby out of the like a fetus. Basically, he's not even out of the womb. He is a fetus when it comes to pop culture. True. <laughs> True. So I have. We're gonna see how bad it is though. Like I'm gonna kind of give him a couple easy ones. So I have a bunch of questions to James about some current pop culture things going on. That should be entertaining. Um, And then we also have, obviously, a TV update, kind of some of the TV recommendations this week, which I've been keeping that going. I know a lot of people, we obviously love our shows, and people love our, you know, I think. (laughs) So I've heard, like, our recommendations for what shows or even movies or whatever we're watching. And then, of course, we have some amazing secrets. We even have one for you, James, that I think you're going to be really excited a about. James secret? A James, it's specifically for you. Wow. Yeah. I'm honored. Yeah. Thank you, callers. <laughs> um, so, hey, James, how you doing? I'm good. How's your, uh, how's your day? You mean, how did the NFL draft go? The draft went really well this weekend. Okay. James literally has been watching the draft 24-7 for the last three days. It's the beauty of having the NFL network on your phone. You just put it on in the background. And it's just been in the background. Everywhere he goes, no matter he's like, anytime he's home, the draft is on loud. And it's like a Wisconsin station, too. If Yep. And it's absolutely obnoxious. But um, We're listening to, like, advertising for... Banks in yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and they're scrawny, and they're from Wisconsin, and they got their pop. And Aaron Rodgers, I can't believe that son of a bitch. Do you think we're from the South? I don't know. Is that Southern? <laughs> you know what? That's the thing about my accents is like, I feel like they're kind of good, but I just don't know like where they're coming from. Like, it's up to you to tell me what the accent is from. <laughs> Like Got I'm gonna it. do an accent. It it might not be. Let's do that now. Why don't you do an accent, and I'll okay. tell you where it's from. Hello there. Where are you going up in here? I think I know what you're trying what, to do. What is I it? I think you're going for Australia. No, that was Irish. Oh, I mean <laughs> Ireland. I'm just bad at maps. I'm not good at geography. Exactly. You meant to say Ireland. I meant you were that's what of I. Ireland. That's what I act. That's yeah. the thing. I don't yeah. know my countries well. But like you could, that could be Australian. Let's do another one. <laughs> Okay, give me one. No, no, you got to do it. Oh, oh right, 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 to. right, right, right. I did not claim to do accents. What you doing down there, down in the hole? Are you in the hole? Yeah, he's in the hole. The only thing I can think about is the song, There's a Hole in the, the Bucket. bucket. That's like kind of what I was thinking dear. of. What did you, what Were you guess? going for a, <laughs> That obviously, because your accents are on point. Was a southern accent? Yes. Yeah. That was pretty good. Honestly, like, I feel really good about that. I, I'm going to send that to my agents. Callers. I'm I would like for you agents. to call in and request accents One of from my Sam. Commercial agents honestly looked me dead in the eye and said, Are you sure we can put down that you do accents? And I said, Yes. Absolutely. I think you guys. She said, I don't think so. I- and i was like i think so so i'm gonna send her your accent tapes. game is strong yeah. anyways guys that was some that was something for you um we're gonna have to do this every week i want a new accent, accent every week well Put we're that going on to the spain. show sheet you definitely need a oh, spanish yeah. accent yeah which i can't wait you know there's gonna be some great content we leave this week we leave thursday night 
And um, if you heard me on the Instagrams, my mom basically retired and she was just like, fuck the US. I'm out of here. Packed up all her shit. And she just like bought a place in Spain. Can, can we get a Spanish accent just to practice it? Yeah. Get into the character. Hold on. Take your time. Como, como te llama? <laughs> Don't do, don't. It's like I'm in Spain. I think we're already Hola. here. Donde estás? We're here. I'm ready to order some tapas and paella. Drink some sherry. Oh my god, I'm gonna work on that one. That one's not very strong. <laughs> no, that was perfect. If you if you talk like I. We're gonna need to cut some of this. If you speak, if you talk like that over there, I think they're gonna mistake us Honestly, for natives. I they're gonna think. This. I don't think I need to edit any of this. No, I don't think <laughs> people will really appreciate that. Woo. Anyways, um, yeah. So we're going to Spain. I'm gonna work on my accent, but my Spanish is pretty good, obviously. It's a fun boy. <laughs> it's right there. That was a that was a phrase. Como te llamas? Oh, I I know. Hola, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Dos cervezas, por favor. Quiero paella. Donde es el baño? That was good. Yeah, oh my God. Listen, we're crushing it. Um. Anyway, so we're going to Spain. And there should be some great content. So my mom just moved. I thought it was a random town. But of course, people in the UK were like, um, no, that's actually not a random town. She lives outside of Alicante. Um. So if you know where that is. Anyways, so we're very excited. Um, oh, I feel caught up. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, all right, let's get into the questions. That was that was enough diddly daddling. Okay, James, I have ten of the pop culture. Ten? Yeah, ten questions of the hottest pop culture trends, even ones that have happened like in the last six months. And um, everyone's talking about it. And you can't say, I don't know. I want you to at least give me some sort of answer. Might I know some of these? Yeah. Okay. I hope so. Like, some of them are, like, kind of easy. Okay. In my mind. But for you, obviously not. Okay. James, explain the Scandaval drama. (laughs) (laughs) Could you put that in the form of a sentence? (laughs) Please repeat that. Um, Do you even know what show that's from? Can you spell it? Okay, it's S C A N D O V A L. Scandaval drama. What what is it? You want me to explain the Scandaval (laughs) drama? Yeah. What happened with Scandaval? I want to say it's got something to do with Vanderpump rules. (gasps) James! Exactly. What happened? Well, I pulled that out of my ass. Did you really? You might have no, heard me I, to the it. The name. He, yeah. Isn't he one? Isn't that one of the Toms? James. Look at this. What happened? Do you I'm know what happened? Going by deductive reasoning here. Yeah. Did they get divorced? No. Well, they did a while ago. No. Is this a business Basically, there was thing? a cheating. There was an affair. There was an affair. With I the just best said friend. they didn't get divorced. But they didn't get divorced. They were never married. Oh. Just a long-term partnership. You know? Got it. It would be like if you were hooking up with Devin. Yeah, that'd be weird. Yeah, like like a best friend. Yeah, that wouldn't happen. And it would happen for months. Well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I hope that, that. Oh, do you mean on the, sh- the on the show? That's what. Wait, in what one of them was married? Isn't married no. anymore? Well, one Tom was married way. It's two Toms. There's two Toms. Good job. I pay attention sometimes. Okay. Good job. And we, oh we yeah, because we went to Tom and Tom. We when went we were in to LA. Tom and Tom. Yes, I did explain. And that to you. I, we got to meet the one manager that's on the show all the time. He was a nice guy when oh, we were in L.A. See, I have an invested. Peter, interest. we met. Peter, when you said you Scandaval, guys. I was like, I swear that's one of we the were Toms. Wasted. So I'm gonna go we were with blacked it. out, and that was the night that you ended up in the hospital. Correct. <laughs> it was a fun night. You though. were wasted. This is why. Yeah. I got it. How close did I? Did I do well? Yeah, I mean, I didn't even think you were even going to know anything, so I'm very surprised and that you named the Toms. But all right, here's the next question: What is a nepo baby? Sounds like biology. I should know this. Mm-hmm. Re- it's could biology. You, could you repeat the question? What is a nepo? N e p o baby. 
I'm guessing that's an acronym of some kind. Could be. Could be a shortening of a word. Think about it. Think of Nepo. Nepo baby. Don't take too long. People have things to do. A baby. <laughs> I want to say baby. it's from, like, I, I don't know how to describe it. I just, I, I might misuse pronouns. Are pronouns involved? No, no. We're no, not, no, I thought maybe some of the new pronouns. A nepo, nepotism. Oh. So it's like they call like kids who have gotten into show business because they have parents that are in show business. Oh, uh, never would have got that. Yeah. I was on the way wrong path. Okay. It's okay. Um, you're learning. See, don't aren't you like glad? Like this is honestly like pretty educational. I'll know what that is now. Yeah, you will. All right, ready? Fill in this sentence. Angela Bassett, blank, blank, blank. <laughs> is an actress? How close am I? She is an actress. No, it's Angela Bassett did the thing. Oh, no, I would not have got that. <laughs> no, this was like a song that was, I don't even know how to describe it to you, but. I can picture Angela Bassett. Like, yeah. I know who that is. She's, yes, yes. She's an you older, right. I mean, she's not right. like a new, new, new actress. Right, she's yes. Been around no, 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 you're, you were completely right. That was funny. Uh, um, what is, did the thing? So what does that there mean? was a. Adriana Bose, Andrea Adriana Bose. Do not know who that There's is. There's this. She's on. She's done a lot of Broadway stuff. She. I think. I can't even remember what award ceremony it was from, but she did this like opening number, and it. She like almost did like this rap, and there was one part where she goes, "Angela Bassett did the thing," <laughs> and it just like went viral. That's great. And I didn't know if you had heard of that. And did it not. Was, like so, blank did the thing. Okay. Did not do that. Did not but get that. Good. Good effort. Who or. What does M. Rada stand for? Who is that person? What's their full name? M. Rada. E-M-R-A-T-A. Do you know who that is? No. Give me a guess. Fashion M- designer. No, but what's her full name? If M. Rada is like her nickname, like Sam Ram. Is Emily. My- what's the last name? Rada. Oh. <laughs> Radaheim. <laughs> Emily Radaheim. Radakowski. Do you know who that is? She's I was model. close. Kinda. Um, no, I do not know who this is. Okay. There was a country music festival this weekend. What was it called? <laughs> kind of like Coachella. Have you heard of it? There's a lot of country music festivals in the Midwest, actually. The largest one in the country yeah. is in Minnesota. Okay, well, I'm not and talking it was about not, it. No, I know it wasn't that one. That was not till July. Yeah. Um, this one, it's in Palm Springs. It's kind of like a lot of people think about it when they think of Coachella. Would you know it? Contrella. <laughs> Contrella. No, I do not know. <laughs> Stagecoach. Oh, uh, I think I heard something about this. Yes. Um, who pooped in Johnny Depp's bed last year? <laughs> The girlfriend person. What's her name? Hmm. This it was, was all over the news. One. This one it was. was all I know. Over that's why news. I was kind of give you some loft. I mean, I might know that. You know, yeah, but I didn't for me think to that you care and pay attention to totally, such things. Totally. Yeah, I didn't know if you would actually know. Mm, hold on. Come on. She's Amber? an actress. Yes. What's the last name? Rhymes with turd. <laughs> turd. Heard. <laughs> heard. Heard. Amber yeah. heard. Amber yeah. heard. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why the Amber part clicked. I was like, hold on, wait. It was weirdly enough, I was picturing some of the trial stuff I was watching because the testimony was interesting because it's just, yeah, it's batshit crazy. Speaking of other trials that went viral, do you remember? Is she a Nepo baby? Uh, Notice how I'm using this in sentences now. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Not that I know of. Um, What did Gwyneth Paltrow go to trial for this year recently? Did you hear about that? I did hear about this. I, I did. Uh, I saw something about it. I remember wanting to read it was about something it. Really stupid. It like was. Someone. That's what it was. And, and I know won. it wasn't like. It wasn't like the crypto Just, thing. It wasn't Best all guess. that. Um, it wasn't a school scandal like some of the others. It was. No. It was even dumber than that. Yeah. Just oh, what was it? Your, just give it a guess. Okay. You got to answer. Um. Just 
Say what you're thinking. First I, thing. I, I got nothing. I literally have a blank slate. She supposedly ran into this man while she was skiing. Oh, okay. I yeah. didn't read enough about that. I yeah. would never got there. Yeah. Um, the D'Amelio family has two famous daughters. Name both of them. Just their first. Well, you already obviously know their last name. Hold on. Give my brain a second. Oh, they they were from Norwalk. <gasps> yeah. Fun fact. They are from Norwalk, Connecticut. Well, I don't know if you guys know that. Um, which is like the town over from us. And like sometimes they come back and hang. The, it starts with a C. Yep. And do you even know the second, the other daughter? You famous? watched the show a couple times. I did watch the show, which was very interesting. It was. I, it was I liked... more like a psychological because it was so it, she was vulnerable. I liked it. Yeah, she really was. And it was just depressing how depressed they were. And like it's not Cammy. It's no Charlie. Charlie DeMillo. That's and right. Dixie. Dixie. I wouldn't have got that. Yeah, one. I don't think it was. I remember she was the older sister though, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Dixie's older. I really did enjoy the like how they were truly vulnerable on the show, and I think people needed to see that. that I know good. it was, no, was definitely different than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like all their, which there was some of that too, but there was like some real issues with how depressed they were. Um, all right, here's I have like I have like one or two more. Um, eyebrow gate. Describe eyebrow gate. And who was involved, or if you know anyone who was involved in Eyebrowgate. I do not know what Eyebrowgate is at all. I've never heard of this. <laughs> do you know who Selena Gomez has beef with? Who's dating Justin? Or they're married. Who's married to Justin Bieber? Come on. She's a Nepo baby. It's not Ariana Grande. No. It's the only one I could think of. I love Selena Gomez. And why do I love I Selena know, Gomez? She's amazing. Why? Oh, um, she's in my show that I love. Your show, The Murder. What is it? Well, well, ooh, you, I was supposed to ask you a question. What is the show that Selena um, Gomez is in? You know, it's funny. I want to say My Favorite Murder because that's also a podcast that like, reminds me a lot of that show. Um, the Murder, Murders in the Building, Murderer in the Building, whatever. Close. Only Murders Only in the Building. Only Murders in the Building. What other two actors who are worldly famous? comedic Steve actors. Martin. Nice. You got one. I this was the one the I was actually going to ask you. I was going to give you that because I know you know Steve Martin. I cannot remember his other. His oh, name. you don't remember his name. Can you name one other actor that was on the show? He kind of plays a bad guy, but he is a Broadway staple and has won Tony Awards. I believe so. I will not misquote him. Recently? Was this the last uh, season? Yeah, he was in last season, too, and the first season. This is only season three coming up. Shit, I can't remember. I haven't watched Amazing it. actor. Who was on Broadway? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been all over Broadway. It wasn't Ben Platt, was it? Nope. Um, A little older Broadway actor. Older Broadway. I can't remember who He was it. in The Producers. I don't know. Who? Nathan Lane. I, I don't know. You don't know Nathan Lane? No. If, maybe if I saw it, I know it's just sad. I'm normally a musical girl. See? Look at me in my pop culture. Look at you. Martin Short is the name of the other one we were coming up Martin with. Martin Short. Well, you know what's funny is I was like, it's either Steve. I know it's something that's it's close, close it to is. Steve Martin. They've been name. in so much together over the yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you watch old clips of them. Martin should have married classic. Steve Martin. So he could have been Martin Martin. Something to think about. I mean, There's, makes It's sense. not too late. Makes sense. Um, Here's the last question. Oh, wait. What? We didn't get the answer. I distracted you very what? strategically. Oh. Who's married to Justin Bieber? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Haley Bieber. Of course. What's her non-Bieber name, maiden name? Baldwin. Ah. The Baldwins. What was the question? I don't remember. Was I just there's supposed to beef, know who's married? There was beef between, because Selena Why? Gomez used to date Justin I, Bieber. Okay, that I... And there wasn't even really beef. It was just people being crazy. Like, why it's eyebrow gate is Selena Gomez had taken a picture of herself, like, or a video her talking about how she just got her eyebrows done and she was really insecure about them. And she like posted a video on TikTok and then right after Haley Bieber like posted a video of her eyebrows. Who has the most followers on Instagram? <gasps> That's a great question because there's also fighting over it. Selena Gomez. I that see I got that. I knew I knew you, you didn't know that. I did you know, know that? that one, yeah. Oh wow, James. I follow her because of only murders in the building. You do, along with <laughs> 
ten thousand other people you follow. James's, by the way, if you see James's Instagram and you're like, is this a spam account? It honestly like, kind of is. Like if you look at his account, he looks like a spam account. I'll, I'll fix it. Because he follow he follows everyone. So if you want to follow, like just follow James, he'll follow everyone back. True. <laughs> I keep telling you he needs to clean up. I'm working on it, you guys. We might do that tonight. Maybe we'll sit down together and do your homework. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Sounds like fun. All right. Last question. Name three TikTokers, any TikTokers but me. You. Damn it. Do you know any other, like, TikTokers? I would have named Charlie DeMillo. Mm. I would have said the DeMillo. I would have probably got it right. I would have said the DeMillo girl. The That's DeMillo. about as far as I would have gotten. Yeah. Do you know anyone? Um... I know you guys. You're really not on TikTok. No, like a, a real like. Who's TikToker. your favorite influencer? You. <laughs> no, you like or like your favorite creator. Like, who do you love to follow on the social media? Does the fitness industry count? Yeah, James follows a lot of fitness accounts. Squat University, true. Lift Run, Bang. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's I don't know if he listens to this. He might not listen, but you yeah. can tag him in it. Uh, definitely his stuff. Christian Thibodeau. He's a yeah. French Canadian trainer. So Those what do you watch guys. for? Their exercises? Just see what they're up mm, to? Exercises, their philosophies, and just kind of new, life videos. new research coming out. Those guys are kind of, they follow really kind of the best upcoming stuff that's coming. That's yeah. Up. It's, it's an efficient way to work out when you don't have a lot of time. Interesting. Between those three guys, you kind of get a little bit of all the worlds of exercise. Then there's a few other honorable mentions in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's really, really cool, James. Well, you I. You asked me what my favorite. <laughs> those are the most. ESPN. <gasps> Of course, you love animal accounts. I love all the animal accounts. Yeah, the um, I had the I can has cheeseburger. I can has cheeseburger. Oh my god! If you for the cat another. one, I love those. <laughs> They're funny. Oh, okay, James, you did okay. You actually did better than I thought. I didn't think you were gonna get really. The, I once I guessed the Vanderpump one, my confidence. I felt really good. Went through the roof. I felt really good once you said that because I was nervous. I got very lucky on that in a way, yeah. but somewhere in my brain, I, I know, just kept thinking, you, "I'm like, oh, James." I couldn't have told you why. I'm like, I swear it's one of the toms. Yeah, from, you killed yep. it. You killed it. Um, all right, movie or well, most of these are TV shows that we um have watched this week and recommend. First off, Apple TV is slaying the game. Yeah, Apple TV is doing really well right now. Literally, everything, all of the shows that I've been like really liking have been on Apple TV. Apple, we, Apple TV has been killing, killing it. it. Um, we were watching the last thing he said, or the last thing he told me. Now I'm like, oh shit, was it? I you read he the, book. the last thing he said, but it's the last thing he said or the last thing he told. I think I, it's the last thing he told. I me. think it's the last thing he told. Yeah, me. which was a book Can which you I do read that in an accent. The last thing he told me. England. English. Yeah. See, I meant to do that. Um, it's really good. There's only been like five episodes out. <laughs> There's only been like five episodes out, but it's it was so good. It was tougher to guess that accent than the Vanderpump. Thing. What do you know? That was kidding. good. Uh, That's great. <laughs> um, the last thing he told me is really good. And um the book is good. And it's funny, of course, like I feel like I've read so many books that I can't really remember how it ends, but I like I kind of have an idea, but it's still Apple. Probably the, the ca- it's one of the cash richest companies in the world. Oh, of course. So I think it's the cash yeah, Jennifer richest. Jennifer Garner the, is like the lead role. Like, it's get- one of the cash richest companies in the country, if not the. They have a lot of capital, in other words. Yeah. And they do. They just even the, the game. have you seen the commercials that they do for their app? Yeah, I mean, like, they get Taylor Swift and shit before. They hire an actor to make fun of himself because he doesn't have a show on Apple. Like, they're literally just pushing the fact, hey, we're going to pay top people to create their own stuff and just do it the way they want to. Yeah. That's where, like, genius. what was the other? Severance was the good one, too. Yes, Severance was so good. A lot of people have seen that. If you haven't seen, you've probably already seen it. And I cannot believe the next season is now for, like, another year or something, I thought. That's so upsetting. Um shrinking which i love and i've talked about that before it's also so good on apple tv obviously james loves ted lasso ted lasso um but i've also been watching i was just posting about this too bad sisters which that's what I'm you're like watching. almost yes. i've been watching um that's it's, where you get your irish accent that's where i was you know kind of yeah i was in irish accent mood huh? 
<laughs> and uh, it's so good. It's so good. So, yeah, last thing he told me, Bad Sisters. Also, Servant, which is kind of old. Like, the season finale was, like, what, a month or two ago? M. Night Shyamalan. It's an M. Night Shyamalan. And if you like weird shit, talk about a weird show. I really enjoyed all of Servant. It's I it was really good. weird, and it's also really good. For the Harry Very po- creepy. For the Harry Potter fans out there, Rupert Grint, isn't it? <gasps> yeah. Yes, he's been in a lot of weird. All of a sudden, he just randomly old pop. I up. love the stuff he's in, though. Like yeah. he plays those roles really well. Yeah, he does. So funny. And also in the show that you originally started this whole Apple conversation with, the the last thing he told me. Yeah, there are a ton of good. Not just Jen, Jennifer Gardner; she's obviously amazing yeah. in it. But there are a ton of other really good actors and actresses in that. Yes, it's really well done. Yes, agreed. Um, so those are the TV recommendations of the week. And you, yeah, we're big. We we love our TV. It's That's fun for to sure. Discuss. We do afterwards. love discussing our TVs. Um. All right, guys. Now is the time for our one of our favorite segments, or oh, maybe no, my, our favorite. My third favorite segment. Third favorite. Your your opening song. Mm. Your accents are number two, mm. and this is number three. Mm. Truth. It is the time for your weird secret. So, as a reminder, you can call in to speak pipe. Speak pipe. I'm going to stop pronunciating it. I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to go back to my old way of saying it. Yeah, just yell, do, do whatever over? you want, James. Speak pipe. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I that felt good. It's, yeah, it's better. Okay. If you want to send us any sort of like weird, embarrassing story or like, you know, I know a lot of people have been doing, oh my God, that reminded me of a time X, Y, and Z, you know, as long as it's weird in some way or shape or form, we're into it. Um, so if you go to speak pipe, S P E A K P I P E dot com slash weird and proud pod, you can leave us up to, it's a minute and 30 seconds. Try and, you know, I, I thought it I, was 90 seconds. A minute. Oh my god, you're so dumb. <laughs> you're an idiot. If you have sent one in before, like I just got another one too. It sounded like they were super far away. Like if you make sure if you have headphones on, you're I think it works better if you don't have headphones on and you just talk right into it. Um re-record, send it back in. You know, or if it was like seven parts long, try and skim it down, send it back in. Um, and I'll also put the link to in the podcast notes, so you can just click right on it, press the button, and always anonymous. All right, James, are you ready for the first one? Prepared. Hey, Sam. Hey, James. Uh, love, love, love the podcast. This is a follow up to one of your Instagram stories, Sam, that you were saying like what's a weird secret or something crazy you've done? And I responded back by saying that I have robo tripped before. So here's a little explanation. Um, Basically, that's when you just do a mix, a slurry of tons of different drugs. Um, It is not a smart choice, but I digress. Um, I took molly, acid, mushrooms. I took a shit ton of edibles and I drank like half a handle of vodka. Um, I think there was some rum and some whiskey in there too. My group called it an electric pineapple, which is basically when you hollow out a pineapple and you put all this stuff into it and you mixy mix and everybody just, you know, sips from a straw. Um, basically I saw salt and pepper screen mixed with rainbow screen i could barely function and walk and my tent was breathing it was at a music festival it was insane highly recommend one time but it took me weeks to recover i'm talking weeks so yeah do drugs kids do drugs Oh my god. So I remember you submitting this and I actually had a bunch of people write in and say actually robo tripping, which is what she said, is when you take a bunch of robotussin, like or let you know, that's what some people had said. You just take like a shit ton of robotussin and apparently like you hallucinate. You know, it's one of those things kind of like when you some people take Ambien and if they fight the urge to sleep, like you can hallucinate and trip and kind of have this crazy high. So when you said that you did that many drugs, 
So there wasn't Robitussin involved, I'm guessing, because you didn't list that out. Oh, no, there but was But I have no not heard. There was no Robitussin there was in no that slurry. Ro- there was no medicine. No Robitussin in that well, slurry. Well, technically medicine, you know. Who knows? Um, that is why, that sounds like a nightmare, to be honest. That sounds like a nightmare, especially at a music festival. I think I would actually lose my mind. Um, I don't even know what. Yeah, I'm sure that you literally had to go to like another universe like you time traveled. That's I was just looking up robo tripping. I thought there was another term for it, but I know that her call wasn't on it. So yeah, I'll stick on she, her call. Her pineapple, electric pineapple. Somebody, when she I, put a bunch of drugs. Amazing, that is a lot of different. Together. There were two psychedelics. Yeah. There's alcohol. It's a yeah. depressant. Weed. Weed, which is kind of a depressant. Weed's yeah. Not a, yeah I'm, and then what was the other one? Weed's not a depressant. Is it? I don't think so. Alcohol's a depressant. Weed's a depressant. Whatever. Then was there an upper in there? I can't remember. Molly. Yeah. No, Molly well, is one of the psychedelics. Yeah. I, Molly. Can't, I don't know if she did say there was. That's I know, I would a lot like, going on to the to the old nervous yeah, system. Yeah, that's why right I'm there. like, I bet it took you weeks to recover. There's no wow. way I would be like able to function after yeah and well no i would never want to do that at a music festival no yet it somehow it makes perfect sense to do that at a music festival yeah in a way but the thing is is like being around like i, I just feel like i would want someone who would be dead ass sober if you're like doing that i wouldn't want to do any yeah you know like i feel like it would you'd have to have like someone watching over you you know like, music, what do they call it i'm a beer guy at a music festival yeah beer and some shots yeah 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 um but we love that ticker that was amazing i'm glad that you called in and you know maybe they're just different terms for robo tripping or maybe you know it's it's whatever you make robo tripping and i don't think she mentioned robo tripping she she? did she did she She said because she had submitted i remember she had like when i did on instagram she submitted Yeah, yeah 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 But thank you so much for submitting. I'm so glad that you are not dead. And sorry about and my confusion alive. with the robo tripping thing. I was listening to your call and the call was amazing. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> All right. Here's the next voicemail. Hi, Sam and James. I'm a huge fan, longtime follower. Love the podcast. I just finished an episode that reminded me of a secret that I have. Um, when I lost my virginity, I was 18. I was taking some classes at the community college by me. Um, A friend invited me over to study, a guy friend. Um, We weren't taking the same classes, so I don't know why we were pretending like we were going to study, but one thing led to another, and I was going to lose my virginity. So we get started on that, but he can't keep it up. And so I spent that underwhelming time watching the football game that was on, which was the Washington team at the time they were called the Redskins and they were playing against the Dallas Cowboys, their huge rival. He was a Cowboys fan. I am a Washington fan. So yeah, I spent my time losing my virginity watching a football game, which it's not the worst situation. I like football. Um, But yeah, I had to sneak in and out of his parents' house and After all of that underwhelming time, I found out that he was still in a relationship with one of our friends and she never found out and I never told her and it's been a million years since and she still doesn't know. Aww. Uh, Sounds like a good football game. (laughs) Good for you. Um, That's so sad. No, I'm so sorry. That's... Tough. Um, especially with the friend thing, the guy's kind yeah. of a little shady. Yeah, uh, that's sad. I'm sorry. That's not, you know, and that's, by the way, so many people on to, when you were saying that when you lost your virginity and you don't remember, we're giving you shit for that because they're like, there's no way you don't remember. I don't. James. I, <laughs> why are they giving me? I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> Because it is like your first, I mean, I guess, yeah, it is for a guy, maybe, but it just is like, you know, you always remember I'm your first 43. time. Like, it was way, it was yeah, more James than is 40 years ago. You guys ago. know that? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, whatever. I don't know, James. Maybe it did mean a lot to you, and you still think about her every night. Maybe. <laughs> 
Is that what it is? That's exactly what it is. (sighs) We're going to fight about this later. (laughs) No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Obviously not. (laughs) Um, But no, that is, that's not a way to have, I mean, who's first time though anyways is amazing. Like, you know, that's always to what you hear is these crazy lose your virginity stories. I've never heard a story that was like, it was the best night of my life. It was the best thing that's ever happened. We both came together. It was, you know, like no one has no. ever heard that. There's always an awkward. And you know what? The guy, he was seeing somebody else. He shouldn't right. have been doing that anyway. I know. The poor wee wee. That's, you know, I mean, maybe he was just on a, he was drinking or something. I don't know. He was just really nervous. That's saddies. Um, but thank you for sharing. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, if you got to. Hey, I want to know, too, if you do have a virginity story that you're like, it was the best, like best I've ever had. Best night of my life. Oh, that's or if you interesting. Have another, yeah. Or if you have the worst. Interesting. Any, twist. any of those are always good. Um, or just like embarrassing things that have happened, like when you're doing it, you know, I feel like there's always some good stories in there, too. Um, all right, James, this voicemail is for you. Are you ready? And I'm ready. This is the one that was for you. Hi, this message is for James. Just wanted to let you know that I do care about the NFL draft, but I love you both. Bye. <laughs> yeah! New favorite caller. That's all I needed to hear. I don't care if it's that short. That's There's perfect. There's one person out there that cares See, about. As long as we touch one new person. As long as that's one person important. was inspired. To, exactly. Yeah. To call in. To and call in. Even and mention say, hey, the James. draft. <laughs> <sighs> it's always worth it. Oh, that is so funny. Yeah. Any, James, what are your overall thoughts about the. I'll let you have two. Uh, no, 30 seconds. 20 seconds there's it's almost impossible but <laughs> but where are the packers thoughts? at okay are packers doing okay is it gonna be okay for them are you nervous let's Obviously. take a selfish viewpoint on this okay just remember for me i needed seconds. the draft to reinstill a little trust in our general manager yeah and by you says in our general manager he means the he, packers. The packers yes he the does green not bay james does not work for the packers uh yeah but i identify as a green bay packer fan okay. and i'm allowed to do that so it's your general and my, manager. part I'm, i identify as part of the green bay Packers, okay. not just a fan Got so it. Um, i i yeah, needed Aaron to Rogers see trust gone. He, he was at a knicks game did you see he was and he was at the rangers game <gasps> wow does that yep. just feel like a stab in the heart it's similar to the story of uh, where the girl said that the guy cheated on someone, except mm. now I know that I got yeah, cheated you got on. got cheated on. But guess Does what? It, hurt? it you... was our fault. It was the Packers' fault yeah. that he's gone. They could have yeah. done the right things, and that's where I lost trust in their ability to assess talent and want to keep the right mm. people. Mm-mm-mm. And guess what? We haven't had a track record the last four years of drafting the right people. So we'll see. This could change it all. This season is make or break for our GM. Yeah. If this, if our quarterback Jordan Love and the people that he has assembled on this team doesn't show progress, they do not have to have a huge winning season. He will still be our GM next year. But if after the learning curve this year and next year, and it ain't good, up. done. <laughs> that was great. Thank you, James, for the sports update. You can edit that out if you need to. No, James, that one girl <laughs> would love to hear. I'm it. sure she wanted to hear about <laughs> it. <laughs> No, but James, the that's NFL what's going The NFL draft is about building your team. Mm-hmm. For example, the New James, York Jets. No, I'm no, still going. No, you started no, it. No. One comment. No. Just on the Aaron no. Rodgers thing. Okay. For One, example. You have five more seconds. The New York Jets, everyone could say, well, the Jets didn't draft well. And a lot of people said, well, I don't like the guys they picked. Who cares? They got Aaron Rodgers because of the draft. Aaron Rodgers kind of sucks, the draft, by the way. Not at all. Yeah, now we're does. definitely <laughs> fighting tonight. No, it, he like didn't do great. That's because he didn't have a team around him. Uh, so it's the Packers fault. Inadequacies. The the Packers went limp. Inadequacies well, of giving him. The, yeah, they couldn't get it up. Couldn't they couldn't get, get him a wide receiver. So, well, that was yeah, that's riveting, James. I'm so glad we got. It was riveting. So, um, all right. Now, are you ready for the last secret of the day? Thank you for calling in about the draft. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thanks for giving James a little, you know, once in a while he needs a little a little treat thrown his way. All right, here you go. Okay, listen. When you go get a massage, 
they're supposed to tell you to undress to your comfort level. That means you can be butt ass naked. That means you can keep your underwear on. But like, how is my massage therapist going to get my lower back? Like I'm talking lower back, like in my butt cheeks or my IT bands on the sides of my upper thighs. If I have underwear on, it's just not going to work. It definitely doesn't mean happy ending. Um, I, I just feel like if you're not comfortable, you can leave your underwear on. But it's also weird that she exposed your butthole. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? So she was responding, and I, I meant to bring to this your up. story. I saw the yes. story. Yep. So I went to this new massage lady, and. I never wear underwear because, again, like, I just feel weird. I feel like it's in the way. Are you wearing underwear now? No. I didn't think so. Yeah, I never wear underwear. Um, And it's one of those things where it's like, I, yeah, I just feel like it's easier for them. And, yeah, I don't want to like, get, like, oil everywhere all over my underwear, too. So when I went to this new lady, if you missed this, she basically, like, I never had someone who, like, took the blankets all the way down. And, like, I sat down to my ankles. Like, I was exaggerating a little bit. Um, me? Exaggerate? No. no. Um, like, down to my knees. Like, so all of my butt was exposed. Like, normally I'm used to, like, the top. And I really don't care about that. And, honestly, I do love my glutes massage because, like. You got tight I, glutes. I have. Yeah. I like my hamstrings true. and glutes. She got tight like, glutes. Yeah. Um, been working on them, as you guys know. I was saying that as a euphemism. You got tight glutes, baby. Tight. Toy. And she was like, you know, the fact that she had pulled it so far down and then was kind of like, huh. you know, I don't know if she, so I don't know if she meant to do it on accident because she kind of gasped. And she was like, but she didn't then move it. Like, you know, I don't know if she did it, like, you know, by accident it was like, huh. and then she just kept it there. But it was okay. It was an okay massage. But I do... You know, but normally they just like kind of, you know, when they're doing your legs, then they like move the blanket up. So it's like in your butt crack so they can do like one glute at a time. So basically you you winked at her with the brown eyed. Yeah, basically give her a brown eyed wink. The brown eyed weasel wink. Yeah. Like my ass was in her face, you know, so I was just like, this can't be fun for anyone. I mean, maybe it was. (laughs) And I would, you know, people like never go back there. I'm like, I probably will never go see her again. But, you know, I don't know. With ladies, it's different, which is why I normally love having women do it because it doesn't feel weird. Like, I don't feel weird if my, you know, it's not that bizarre. I, you know, especially like, too, now that I shower and change and do everything at Equinox, like, everyone's walking around naked all the time. You know, it's like when it's all women, I don't really care. If it was a man who did that, then I may be like, what the fuck? That's a little weird. Like you a know? guy going naked? In a no, massage, no, no. If or a you guy, mean a guy if massaging you? The guy was the masseuse, you. and he oh, pulled yeah. down the blanket. I, yeah, I would not like that. Right. Well, right. Otherwise, boyfriend, I would not like. Yeah. That. Right. Right. Um. So, <laughs> and then, and then after I talked to a friend, I was talking to Ashlyn, and she was like, one of my friends, and she, she she's, is she, I know she's no, a yoga that was instructor. another. No, she had never been a masseuse, but she, she just okay. no, no. But she was like, well, I heard that if you don't wear underwear. When you're getting a massage, it like signals or like hints to the masseuse that you want a happy ending. And I was like, what? I've never. Heard. Yeah, but she lived in French Canada for a while. She's also lived in Canada. She lived in some weird places. Um, and so I had like pulled out on Instagram to see. And it was I was so surprised that only like 30 percent of people don't wear underwear, like 70 percent wear underwear every time. You know, maybe because I, I don't know. I don't know. But I was very surprised by that. And then, but then I had so many masseuses and massage therapists who were like, I would never think that. I way more prefer you to not wear underwear again because I don't want to get it dirty. It's in the way. And then it, it is just like weird, like touching someone's underwear. It's, it is, it you would know? be almost weirder to have, have to underwear. Move someone, like, un- right. To, yeah, to move their underwear the down. Person. Right. Right. So I do feel better. At the end of the day, it is okay to not wear underwear. You are not signaling you want a happy ending. Um, But just kind of a fun fact. And But I was just very surprised so many people wear underwear. Great call. Very. Yes. Thank you for calling it. Thank you. I did want to 
yes, clear that up. And anyone, you know, again, there's so many people who are like, oh my God, I never wear underwear. I like, you know, I hope that I'm not <laughs> signaling to like these people that I want a happy ending. Apparently just, just a rumor, just a uh, old wives tale, if you will. Um, but that was amazing. Yes. Thank you for calling in. I'm glad we, uh, we cleared that up. I feel better. I can sleep at night now. Um, and if you guys want to call in to speak pipe, <laughs> speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod. We'll also put the link in the description of the pod of the pod of the video, whatever you're, wherever you're watching. So you can go on and send us your weird secret, weird thing that happened. If you have a follow up, if you have a virginity story, anything that's weird, call in, let us know. Always anonymous, of course. And um, also, lastly, too, don't forget, we have some shows coming up. Austin. Where else are we going? Maine. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Austin, June 4th, Maine, May 21st. Um, those are the tickets that are available now, I should say. The other ones, I'm still working on dates for things and travel. Um, but make sure to go on samantharamsdale.com slash events to get a ticket and we can't wait to meet you in person. Also, we do anytime we go and travel somewhere to, I mean, any show really, we're always hanging out after. So we'll True. make sure to say hi, take a pic, you know, whatever, whatever. Say hi to James or Jan. We don't know who will show up. Could be anyone. Um, but we love you guys so much. Thank you again, as always, for all the support. We love hearing, you know, your positive feedback and what you guys love. And we love hearing your voicemails. We just, you know, it's kind of a cool way to connect with you guys on a different level. And we're just so grateful that you guys are tuning in. So also, if you are on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed, please. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're on Spotify or Apple, also make sure if you could give a five-star review and uh, make sure you're subscribed and following along. And we will be back one more episode before we go to Spawn. Um, well, there'll be an, a podcast that we will record before we go to Spain. And then, of course, make sure you're following on Instagram for all of our Spanish content coming out later this week. And make sure you're following the Weird and Proud Pod on Instagram. And we love you. Any final words, James? Oh, my gosh. Thank you all so much. No, yes. it's amazing to get to do this. We have a great time doing it. And we, we can't you. wait to meet all you guys at the shows. Yes. Have a great week. And we love you, weirdos. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>